Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Array Methods 9 for part 4 of module 1. So uh, filter odd length words, filter even length words, and get length of longest element. So uh, given an array of string, hopefully they mean strings, um, this function returns an array containing only the elements of the array whose lengths are, lengths are odd numbers. So let's assume that all of the uh, elements in the array are uh, words. So first we'll create a result array, return the result array at the end, uh, iterate over the words if current word length is odd, add to result array. So we'll say variable odd length words is equal to an empty array. And you may think, why not result like we've been doing previously? Uh, we don't want to send, we don't want to hit you with too many things at one time. But if we call this odd length words, uh, it is way easier for us to identify what's going to be contained in this array than if we just call it result. Now, because we've been just doing simple functions, most of which just do one or two things, it's okay to call them result in those cases. And result is okay if it's going to be the result of the function. But in general, the more robust and uh, descriptive you can make your variable names, within reason, uh, the easier it's going to be for you to understand the code later, and also possibly easier to debug. So let's iterate over the words. And you guessed it, we're going to use a for loop. Uh, for those of you who are advanced, you might think, hey, can't I use filter? Uh, you can. We're not going to show you here. I might go through these uh, for like a higher order functions lesson and go through ones where we can use higher order functions just to mess around with them. But for now, we're not going to worry about higher order functions, mostly because everything that you need to do in module one and on the interview can be accomplished without higher order functions. Um, Plus, if you learn how higher order functions work and can build them by scratch or from scratch, it can be easier to understand and implement them once you get to that point. So, if the current word has an odd length, the current word is going to be words at i, the length is going to be dot length. To make sure that it's odd, we need to say modulo 2 and verify that that's equivalent to 1. In the event that it is, we're going to push to our odd length words array the current word, which is just words at i. So, that should be it. And it is. Filter even length words. Uh, well, let's keep this video a little bit shorter. I'm going to grab everything from here, and I'm going to copy and paste it over. I, again, highly suggest you do not do this, mostly because uh, it can be very, very useful to write all of this stuff out. But as you'll see in a moment, we have one thing to change. Rather than being equal to 1, we need the words at i.length modulo 2 to be equivalent to 0. We've changed odd length words everywhere that it appears. So now we can run this, and we're in good shape. Get length of longest element. It should return 0 if the array is empty. So let's do our edge case first. We'll say if or r dot length is equal to 0, meaning the array is empty, uh, return 0. Quick question. Why can I not just say if r is equal to uh, that? Why can't I do that? Uh, what actually happens is, is in this line, it's going to create a new array. Essentially what happens here is that triple equals will see that this is an array and it's empty, and that this is an array and it's empty, but that they are different arrays. They're not references to the same array. They are individually stored somewhere differently in memory, and so as a result, this is always going to give us uh, false. Even if the contents of both arrays are identical, we need a different way to do that, and we'll discover one in module two. But for now, let's just keep in mind that in order to determine if an input array or an array in general is empty, we can just check the length. So, returns the length of the longest string in the given array. So let's say variable longest string is equal to, uh, what should be equal to? Mm, let's say array at zero. Then we're going to iterate over the rest of the array. So we'll say for variable i is equal to one, i is going to be less than r dot length, i plus plus. And we need to check to see if the current length is longer than the longest string, than the longest string length. Um, so keep in mind, this is a way that a lot of people mess this problem up. They'll either do the length here and then forget that they did the length, or do the element here and forget that they did the element. So eventually we're going to return the length. So let's keep in mind that what we're doing is we're identifying the length to 
uh, populate longest string, and then at the end we'll return the length of the longest string. So we'll say longest string dot length is going to be our eventual return value. So if the current value, which is going to be array at i dot length, is greater than longest string dot length, if that's the case, then we need to reassign longest string to be whatever the current string is. So we'll say longest string is equal to array at i. Once this goes all the way through, longest string will, be, will contain the longest string in the array. And on line 14, we can return the value that we need for the function by accessing that string's length property. And we're in good shape. And that's it for this lesson. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying these videos, and we'll see you in the next one.